Uh, good morning one and all and welcome to the video this video i would be highlighting uh, you know one of the issue with the airflow that i solved uh, basically so the problem was actually you know i whenever the user enters something on the form right it goes to the database and then i wanted to create a task or a dag uh, dynamically for that particular uh, entry that the user entered I tried a lot. I, I tried several solutions. Uh, for example, you know, file sensor to keep that is not right. Then I tried uh, creating DAG. So this is what worked for me. And I want to share my solution. So people can, you know, uh, learn and you could give your advices if you want. So, hey, this is what I did. Okay, uh, hear me out. So the user basically would enter some details on the form, okay? Let's say he entered the detail for whatever task he wants to create on Airflow, right? We, we, he entered the detail. Now, what my architecture says is that that detail would go to an RDS, so basically a SQL server, right? So that record is on the SQL server. Now, what happens is as soon as that uh, user clicks on the submit button, the record goes to an RDS. And then what happens is we make an API call. We have a small microservice that basically would generate the Python code for that particular data. Based on the JSON data, we would generate the Python code. This is a microservice, basically a Flask, uh, it would be an API. So this API would return the string Python code, right? So what this API would do is basically it would uh, take that data, generate the Python code from the library we developed. Then based on that code, it dumps that code on an S3 on a folder. As soon as, a, as, soon as the code lands on S3, we fire up a Lambda. And what, what happens is when the Lambda we basically have a DAG on Airflow. We have a DAG called project. What that DAG does is basically, whenever the DAG is triggered, the job of the DAG is, hey, read the data from that particular bucket folder, uh, take the file that is there there and dump it in a DAG folder. So we add the DAG to the dynamically in the DAG folder with, you know, we, we, we use file and we say file.write. We write that file here. Once we write this file here, what we do is we delete that file from the S3 location. So the next time when the user edit the same thing and you want to create a workflow dynamically, user and user change something that goes to an RDS, those changes goes to an API, API generates the code, generates the code, dumps on S3, S3 files a Lambda, Lambda would generate, trigger the DAG, DAG would basically uh, take the data from S3, pull the data here and put the DAG on the DAG folder. That's the entire workflow that I came up with. Um, you know, it works fine, it works absolutely great. Tried with Airflow 2. This is my solution, how I can generate DAGs dynamically. Um, uh, you know, so something like this, when some, when the user enters something, you wanna create a DAG. This is how I follow my, this is my, 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 my plan, right? So let me know what you think uh, in the description section below if you have any more questions on Airflow. I'll be very happy to assist you. Once again, thank you for watching. Keep smiling, keep coding. See you guys next time.